St. James Missionary Baptist Church gathered for a day of divine worship, remembering the scriptures that says that wherever two or three gather in the name of Jesus, he promises to be in the midst. And I'm looking out on a handsome audience this morning. We definitely satisfied more than two or three. And we celebrate that Jesus Christ is in the midst of us. And not only so, we have others who are still in gathering, God bless you, and still arriving and coming. Families who are still getting into the sanctuary of the St. James Missionary Baptist Church, one of the fastest growing churches right here on Rock and Roll, and we are the only church on Rock and Roll. So why not be the fastest growing church? Can I get a hearty amen out there? Amen and glory to God. It is homecoming weekend, and we have come home. Whoa, as I'm looking out, this sanctuary is really smiling this morning, as it's looking out on worshiping friends coming home today. So let us prepare to go into our divine worship at this time. And I'm glad to be able to stand as your brother in Christ and as your senior pastor here at the St. James Missionary Baptist Church. Our postlude, we have come into this house to gather in his name to worship him. We have come into this house to gather in his name and worship him. Worship Christ the Lord. Let us sing this together on this Sunday to honor and glory of the name of the Lord. Our worship leaders are entering the sanctuary. And we believe that the holy angels of God are joining in with us as we now concentrate on the Lord.
live and I do this because I live. Here, what I want to share with you just for a few moments, amen, if I may, and if I missed anybody in the accolades, praise God, know that God knows you better than me. And instead of me guessing who you are, he's already told me what to say that will help you find an identity before I finish. I asked God what to speak to a church on a homecoming service. When you think about just the name and you break it down, first is home. But when we think of home, a lot of people are thinking, praise God, that home describes some physical building or something that has no life. But a home, praise God, is a place that has significance. A home is a meaning, praise God, that's put on something that's dead and becomes something alive. So a house is not a home until the significance of something living connects to it. A church, when people say it's a homecoming, it's not the building, praise God. It's the fact that people have some significance that connects each other. Amen. That makes a difference to be here today. I say, Lord, what would you have me to speak? Be a blessing to uh, this pastor, uh, this first lady, to this congregation, to these wonderful people that thought it necessary to whisper in God's ear for me to listen. What kind of branch are you? Look at another neighbor say, you know, I'm tired of talking to church folk. It's dead. I just like, I just gave them a topic. They didn't get it the first time. Just look at somebody else. Get this. Just look at somebody else. Say, I want to talk to you because I want you to get it. Look at somebody else. Say, I don't want to talk to other person because they always they get it. Praise God. So look at somebody else. Say, what kind of branch are you? I say, Amen. Amen. Going services, there are living people. And we don't preach to the shell, we preach to amen the living. So since it's a homecoming, I want to make sure somebody in here was living. <laughs> Help me, Lord. He says, I, I am the vine, and ye are the branches. Look at the neighbor say, just like your house, everything needs order. He that abided in me and I in him the same bring forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. Will we ever come? Even the government knows they can't do nothing without God. The reason I made that point about laying their hands on the Bible in every office, because they realize they can't do nothing without God. When presidents get in trouble, they call preachers to the White House. Amen. must teach me. As I close, and I'm not closing. I'm going to get you excited and move you. I've done that and I did it for years. I'm going to close with your thought. All right. If each one of us decided we wanted something better, we got to start looking first Amen. in the mirror ourselves. Yes. Yes. 